I often don't know what to shoot. I'm looking for stories and I, and I struggle over finding the right story to tell. And sometimes all you need to do is look at what's right in front of you. So this is what a, an up and coming business tycoon looks like up here in Lowy Province. All, all dressed up to go to the bank and close a deal. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed with this woman. This overgrown plot of property was the first thing that she bought about five years ago. It's maybe a half acre in size. And she flipped it, more than doubled the money. I gotta tell you all about it. Buakau grew up in this uh, humble home here in uh, Ban Samhai, that's the name of the village in the province of Lai. Lai is the least populated province in Thailand. It's uh, in the middle of the country, way up north, not too far from Laos. <laughs> At breakfast down on the farm. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> You're off? Yeah. Okay. She's off to go close her land deal. I see she put leggings on. They are uh, much more conservative in this part of the country. Uh, she did manage to get a fluffy pink thing on. She does like her her fashion. This is uh, this is her brother-in-law, Long Sai. He's kind of my favorite guy. He's a poet and a musician alongside. That's a, and the whole family seems to be going. I guess this is a, quite a deal for them. You can see, uh, unlike the, and off they go. They do everything as a family here. And they're very practical vehicles. Yeah, she's uh, going to close a deal on uh, on a property of 20 acres that she's paying 500,000 baht for. That's about 14, you know, a little less than $14,000. And uh, uh, 20 rye, I said acres. The 20 rye, it's about eight acres in American measurements. And it was a distressed piece of property that she discovered because of her connections here in, in, in the village. And uh, this is her most recent transaction and uh impressive M impressive woman uh let me tell you a little bit more about the details after buakau came to work for me her salary nearly tripled plus she had a place to live she didn't have to pay rent she had the house to live in with her family so she had all this extra money coming in but she continued to live on the twelve thousand baht a month that uh, she, she was used to, uh, to to living on. She she was really really frugal. She had become so out of necessity, but she kept doing it because it's something that she wanted to do. And she was able to start accumulating money, you know, putting money in the bank. And when she got an opportunity to uh, to invest it, she did so. And what got my attention was not that first land flip. To me, that seemed kind of normal because it was right next to where her sister lived. And it was like, okay, so well, she just knew about that. What got my attention were buffaloes. Today I buy a uh, send money for my sister in the for buy buffalo, full buffalo. In, inside big buffalo, uh, have a uh, have baby too. <laughs> That's not something that's readily recognizable to a Western eye. You know, we, we make jokes about water buffaloes here in Thailand, us expats. Truth of the matter is, is that they're still used a great deal as, as work animals and uh, beasts of burden. But there's also a trade in buffaloes as show animals where they're very, very expensive. Now, booze weren't show animals, they were work animals. 
but she flipped them too. She bought a pregnant buffalo, a pair of buffaloes, and one of which was pregnant, and uh, had two babies. She was able to sell four of them and made over a 100,000 baht profit on that. That's what got my attention. I said, I gotta pay attention to this girl. She's, uh, she's, she's pretty sharp about the things that she does know about, because I certainly don't know about water buffaloes. Probably you don't either, but she did, and she saw the value in it. And, uh, and, and that was one of several transactions that brings us to the present date. Bo now owns a, a plot of property where she's building a house. She hasn't laid the foundation yet, but she has leveled the land out and uh, got, got electricity uh, set up to come in. And she's you know doing it slowly. There's no rush for her, but she's building a house for herself and a family up here in Bonsam High. I'm not gonna last forever, I'm already 73. And I guess she's planning for that. Bua Cow was up here, I think about six weeks ago, supervising the drilling of a well. And this is it? This is the well? Water. Yeah? Yes. It's good water? Really good. Mm. And this is where you're going to build a house, right? Yes. Nice view. What do you put here? Room for karaoke. Have party, big party. Room for karaoke? Yes. So you can have big parties? Yes. Yes. Have a pool. A pool? Yes. Long Kelly shop man. Kelly is her 14 year old daughter. I got news for you, sweetie. Kelly is not gonna live here. <laughs> Kelly's a city girl. <laughs> yeah, she'll come visit you and go right home. <laughs> Because uh, we have big home, Nasani. Uh -huh. Upstairs have six six rooms. Six rooms? Yes. Upstairs? Yes. Six okay. rooms, six uh, shower, six toilet. Upstairs. And your room. And your room. Because this is a home, right? Uh-huh. Big home. Your room. Your room. For my studio? Yes. So I could take... Room. So I could take pictures of all the young Bansom High girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, water come down. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're going to have a waterfall? Water come down. From where? You have big plans. Well, you have a million dollar view, that's for sure. <laughs> I think uh, five, five million. Five million baht? Yes. Five million baht. Do you have five million baht? Sure. <laughs> So I'm going to do a series of videos on, on this woman and her family. And the man that made this all possible was Bukow's father. And he's a really interesting guy that I'll go into more detail in a video just about him. Because he came up to this region of Thailand in the early 1970s before there were roads in where his houses are. He came in on foot and he had an elephant. This is an interesting guy, and the more I learn about him, the more I want to do a video just focusing on him. There's, you know, it's tales of communist guerrillas and all sorts of stuff going on in his life. Again, that'll be another, I'm doing a series of videos on, on Bukow and our family up here. That will lead to more videos about, I don't know, I guess we're going to be the Bangkok Kardashians or something like that. <laughs> it's an interesting family, and uh, I want to present it to you as well. Thanks for watching if you're still here. And I'll see you soon.